be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe. Also, go ahead and hit, give me a thumbs up, like the video, helps out the channel a lot, et cetera, et cetera, man. So let's go ahead and jump into today's content. What I wanted to do is talk about how you can create your own baselines um, to samples that you get. Um, no matter where the sample is coming from, I'm going to be showing you what you could do to create your own baseline to that sample. Now, I have a sample here that I grabbed from Splice, actually, and I'm going to let you hear it. And then I'm going to show you what I would do to create baselines for that sample. So let's just listen to the sample first. All right, so that's a hard sample, right? <clears throat> now, normally, you probably wouldn't even hear that bass. So you can kind of hear the bass in there. I'm going to take out some of the lows just so you can kind of... Cool. So there's no, there's there now. There's no bass or anything in there to kind of lead you on what you could do on the sample. First things first, we're gonna need to go ahead and create a new instrument track. To keep it simple, we're gonna go with a default patch, and we're just gonna actually go over here to our library, use one of the stock sounds. They have some, some dope bass sounds. Um, let's see what this sounds like. All right, cool. We're going to go with the Stinger bass. All right, so basically what you want to be doing is I would recommend keeping things simple. If you look over here on the uh, in the workspace window, this is all right here. It's going to measure time. All right, you got one measure, two measures, three measures, four measures. Okay, now since this is a four-bar loop, I would really recommend maybe only doing like either four or eight different notes okay let's start with like this four notes okay that's going to maybe start at the beginning of each measure and then we'll we can go from there so basically what you want to do is you play the sample and then you're just going to sound out a bass sound in your in your head first and then from there you'll draw the note in so bum, bum. and so what you want to do is that first note that you hear bum, Okay, you want to go on to your piano now and find that note. All right, so we know that that's a C sharp. So I can come all the way down here. And we can just draw that in. So. And then, you know, ba, ba, ba. You know, you could you, you don't necessarily you could follow that that sound, um, but you, just to keep it simple, you could follow that the last note, ba ba. So ba would be the next note right there. So that's a B. So now he's going to uh, click that in. Now you could repeat that. Okay, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm picking out the main melody, right? Whatever that main melody is, I'm picking that out and then I'm I'm following that. Now, in this sample, what we're listening to is like that horn or that, uh, it's like a, yeah, it's kind of like a horn sound. And we're, we're basically following that. 
So if you want to now take this up to the next level, what we could do is listen to where we can maybe add a little bit of extra sauce in between, like maybe uh, just a few notches over here, a few, a few notches before each measure. Bum, 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 bum. See, you could come over here and go. And what you also want to do is just pay attention also what this playhead is doing. And you can kind of just, as you're listening, see where the playhead is at. And then that's where you'll know, okay, maybe I can get a little fancy right here because that's where the playhead is. So. so right there, I can do some more variations. Command T to chop this up or to split it. And what you're doing, obviously, is just sounding this stuff out, okay? You could use your mouth to sound it out and then play it over here, or you could just hear what it is and then come over here and move notes up and down to you till it makes sense. Now let's just listen to what we created. So that's our new bass note. That's our new bass line. This is the bass line that they had on it. Pretty dope, but you know, while we, we basically cut the, the lows out, we were able to create our own bass note, bass line, and here's that's what this is what we have. pretty hard right anyway y'all that's today's video if you have any questions leave them in the comments thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one